How the fuck are ya, you insatiably petty little peckers? Galactic criminal here. We are continuing on today with another metal cover by the one, the only, Leo Macaroni. <laughs> the moment I saw people in the comments telling me this motherfucker covered Feel Good Ink by the Gorillas, I could not wait to check this shit out. I used to be a pretty big fan of the Gorillas, and this used to be one of my absolute favorite songs. But I'll tell you, I probably haven't heard it in like eight years. So not only am I pretty excited to hear this song again, I'm pretty fucking stoked to hear what Leo was able to do with it. Feel good ink, Leo Miracoli, with a one, two, As I gravitate, <laughs> go. We don't go down this small town. We go down. You win the rain. Come fight with us. Can't fight with us. We go down. You kill the ink. So don't stop. Get it, get it, until you get it. Now watch the way I navigate. <laughs>
Online. Links in the video description to iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. I also have a Patreon site where you can get all the songs in an instant download. Flute! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool, man. I saw someone like in, in the comments of one of the other videos. He said there's this like joke about Leo. It's like someone asks at last Leo, how many instruments can you play? And he says, yes. <laughs> That was absolutely every bit as awesome as I was hoping it was going to be. I like his covers because it's not, it's not completely different than the original song. It's an interesting take on the original songs. And so from what I've heard so far, I really liked the way, I really liked what he did with this. That was, that was awesome. Just giving it a nice hard edge while keeping the same like rhythm to that shit, dude. I, I loved every second of that and the video was like simple but awesome i mean it's all the fucking the thumbnail and he's wearing the bunny suit or whatever but uh <laughs> it's like, i was like i was waiting because like he's going past all these people and like no one's looking at him i'm like oh this thing are they all in on it is that the, is that the deal but then like later on you can kind of see like people are starting to turn and look and <laughs> like what the fuck's this guy doing <laughs> and that was like that was as far as i could tell that was all one shot which is impressive to me because Kind of wondering now if maybe some of the people weren't reacting because they did this a few times. I'm very curious. I am seeing here that there's, a, I guess there's a behind the scenes for this thing. I'm gonna have to check that shit out. <laughs> See exactly how they were able to do that. Like the guy like running backwards, going up the escalator backwards and shit like that. Just very cool. My favorite part, obviously, is when he stopped in this like central corridor and they were doing the shot where they're spinning around him. That was fantastic. That was an absolutely fantastic shot, and just like, man. Again, I think the only criticism I have for this track is that you, you could tell there was some heavier vocals happening, especially toward the end. It felt like, again, kind of building the heaviness as it went along, and then just having really cool heavy moments, especially vocally, toward the end. I really wish that he had have, like, laid into the fucking the heavier vocals earlier on, you know, like in some of like the more rap style sections, doing like the heavier style of, of vocal. Like, I liked what he did. I absolutely liked what he did. It's just when he got to those later parts, it's like, yeah. <laughs> but you, you know me, man. I love like the death core and shit like that. So this is kind of not as heavy as that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say though, like musically, my favorite part of this track was then like a, the breakdown style of moment in between like lyrics and stuff. And he was just, I don't even know how to describe what he was doing. It was cooler than fuck though. It was almost like he was like mixing on like turntables, but doing it with the guitar. I, I don't know. It was a very, very, very cool sound, though. And now kind of thinking back, were they like, I gotta see this fucking behind the scenes thing. Were they playing the music and that's like he was playing along with it as he was moving? Kind of assumed that he was. What a creative fucking video, again. This guy, I fucking, this guy's got me fucking written all over him. I, that's why I'm fucking loving this shit, because it's just the creativity alone. I mean, like, it does say that there's other people that are a part of this thing, but, like, I'm kind of wondering, is, like, is he coming up with these concepts? I have to assume, like, the ones that are, like, in his studio or whatever, like, that's, he comes up with all the shots and everything for that. But, yeah, just the creative process, it seems like, for this guy is incredible. And are people telling me that he's doing one of these covers, like, he's been doing one every week? He's been doing one of these, like, every week or so? That's just, that's impressive to me. It's absolutely impressive to me, especially because these these videos are acclaimed. 
they're claimed for copyright, or at least the ones that I've seen so far in my reactions are claimed as well. So I'm just, I'm like, I'm curious. It's like, is Patreon really giving them that much money? Is you know, to be able to like support his family and everything with that shit? I am curious to know. But yeah, clearly, I love this shit, and I can't wait to check out some more. So hey, if you ever, have you heard another one of his that's like really, really heavy? Something really heavy that I should check out of his. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video, so you can go and watch it for yourself. For screen, for audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.